Hello, welcome back to my marriage tutorial. Yeah, in this episode, we're going to be adding in a fire flower. Uh, I'm trying to do this quickly so the tutorial isn't really long. Um, but loads of people have requested me to carry on this series, so that's what I'm doing really. Uh, so you're going to want to zoom in and go to the bottom, and you'll see there's the fire flower here. Uh, looking very nice. Uh, and you want to select it with the select tool, tool up here um, and just surround it make sure it's all like and it, and it should be 32 by 32 if it isn't you haven't done it right okay so then press ctrl c and do file create from clipboard that will just create a new file from the contents of the clipboard and then you can zoom in and use this tool and just click on the white bits and then just click delete on your keyboard and it will delete those areas and make them transparent. Uh, then once you've done that, uh, just do select none and then, well you don't need to do that, but and then you want to do export. Um, since this is a new version of GIMP, you want to click export, not just save as, because that will just save it as a GIMP file, which you can only open up in GIMP. So click export and you just want to go into your uh, folder and yeah, you just want to name it something like I'm just going to name it flower.png hang on <laughs> not not dot png do not do dot png do dot gif and uh, export um, and then you can just close all these, close without saving. Uh, and you'll see you've got this, which will open up. Uh, go away. <laughs> uh, which will open up in a web browser. Um, but Scratch can easily import it in its transparency. So you want to click choose new sprite from file. And then you want to go into your folder, wherever it is. Hang on. Okay, I found my folder, and you just want to import the flower. And then you'll probably want to name it item one flower. Uh, you want to do this for as many item boxes as you have, but um, at the moment we've only really got one. This one doesn't really work, so I think in the next tutorial or something we'll we'll look at how to uh, duplicate our item boxes. Um, but yeah, you just want to you want to have a flower like assigned to each item box you have, and then what all you need to do is go into your mushroom for item one, and you just want to literally copy and paste. Uh, that's not meant to happen. <laughs> oh no, we've got all these variables. Oh well, um, you want to put that into item one flower. Uh, and put that into item one flower and you don't need to worry about this because the flowers don't move which makes it a lot easier you don't need any of that where it says velocity and stuff uh, you want to get that and put that into there and finally you want to get that and put that into there okay so you should you should now have about all these scripts um, the things we won't need are velocity, and I think that's about it, yeah. Uh, and instead, no, that's all fine, yeah. Is that previous? Instead of broadcasting super, we're going to broadcast fire flower. Um, and we're going to set, and we're going to make a new variable and call it uh, fire flower and make sure it's for all sprites so all the sprites can access it um, and then you want to set fire flower to one and that will make that will, this variable will use to make Mario change costumes and stuff uh, okay and then that that should work quite well the only thing is both of them come out, which we don't want. 
and the other thing is we can't actually reach that so you probably want to go into Mario and where it says velocity under key up arrow where it says set velocity do it about 12 and that should get him a lot higher now obviously we haven't got these collisions working yet which believe me <laughs> yeah you see it just disappeared there and then you can see fire flower is now equal to one which means it's true basically um yeah the collisions are really tedious and believe me it's going to be a pretty boring tutorial that's why i'm kind of putting it off because collisions aren't exactly the most interesting subject to talk about but anyway uh yeah you want to go into item one flower and all we're going to need to do is stop it first and put in an if statement saying if something equals something and where are we yeah under item one hit we want to only execute that if super equals one because you remember we've got this super variable which that means if it's one then it means mario is like big and we only want to fire the flower to to appear if Mario is big. So just put that all around that. Um, yeah, okay, it should look like that. And then if we go into our mushroom, we want to put in another if statement and get that equals thing again. And go into variables and get super, yeah. And you want to do that equals to zero because we only want the mushroom to appear if Mario is little. Mario isn't super basically. So put that around where it says when I receive item one hit. And we can clean that up and save it. And Okay, that's a bit weird. Uh let me just one second. I see what I've done. Uh I have put in the if super around the, the wrong script. It needs to be around this one here when I receive item one hit. Uh, okay, now that should work. Yeah, you see the mushroom only comes out now. Now, we can only really get the item one flower to work if Mary's already got a mushroom. And since we've only got one item box, we're gonna just have to cheat a bit and set super to one at the start until we've got multiple item boxes. Uh, so you can see Mario is now super at the start. So now the fire flower will come out and you can see fire flower now equals one. That is the end of the tutorial really. Uh, in the next tutorial we'll probably put in the costumes for Mario and stuff. Uh, but I hope you enjoyed and hope you found it useful. You're probably just going to want to untick that because we won't need it. Well, I mean, we do need it, but the user doesn't really want to see that. So, yeah. And you probably want to set super back to zero. Okay. Uh, so, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed and all that. Uh, I don't know when the next tutorial will be, but hopefully it will be soon. So, see you then. Bye-bye.